Hey guys, welcome to Munich, Germany. This is the capital of Bavaria, and it also happens to be the beer capital of the world. Right now, I'm enjoying the open container laws they have here in Munich, drinking a... Hofreuhaus beer. Highly recommend it, which means you can buy a drink and you can walk around the city, or you can hang out in the English garden like I'm in right now. I'm about to take a tour of some local drinkers to find out more how to drink in Germany. All right, you're not allowed to drink until you post with the people whose company you are in. This right here is Stevo, our iconic beer drinking tour guide for today, who's about to show us the best places Germans go to drink, how to cheers, how to hold your beer, and so much more. So let's get to it. You guys, the word for cheers then in German is Prost. P-R-O-S-T. You must look people in the eye when you're posting with them. Saying cheers is rule number one, and it's a big deal around here. You're looking people in the eye, and you're basically saying, hey, it's a great privilege to be sharing this social time with you right now. You see, drinking is so common here that you're going to find yourself drinking next to a stranger at some point, whether it's in all these open areas or at crowded benches and beer halls where you'll definitely get seated next to a stranger. So saying Prost is a great icebreaker to say to the people around you. This is a beer hall, our first drinking destination. And the rule here is that beer halls are for drinking, not eating. Of course they do serve food because tourists treat this like a restaurant experience, but the food apparently sucks, especially compared to other restaurants you have around the city. But what you'll see from the locals, beer halls are a great place to just grab a drink because they have the best beer in the world served fresh from wooden barrels and there's live brass music from Oompa bands that sound like this. If you really end up loving it here, you can become a regular where you can sit at these reserve tables when it gets too packed and you can keep your beer mug in your own special locker. The next drinking destination is a beer garden and you can drink a beer outside in the shade of chestnut trees because the way their roots grow makes it possible for beer to be stored underground and that is the rule here. It has to be chestnut trees for it to be a real German beer garden. And if you don't know what chestnut trees are, I'm here to help. Here's a picture from Wikipedia, okay? Here's some stock footage I found of chestnut trees, which there's way too much of. I don't even, who is this even made for? Anyway, now that we're all experts on chestnut trees, let's get into to the beer. Whenever you're at a hall or garden, they will always have three styles of beer. First one is Helles. This is your lager. It's light and you can see right through it. Next up is your Dunkless. This is a dark beer, but it's very sweet, has caramel and chocolatey notes. And finally, you have your wheat beer. They call the Weiss beer. So it's good to know which one's your favorite before you fill up on an entire liter, which is something called a stein. You'll notice some of these steins have a lid on it. This is to keep from spilling your beer, but it's also to keep out all the leaves and chestnuts that are falling from the chestnut trees that you're sitting under at the German beer garden. Speaking of spilling, there's a specific technique of holding your beer. You hold it like this, then beer ends up all over the floor, so like this. To manage the weight of a liter sized mug, you want to hold the body of the glass, especially once you start rocking out to the Oompa Band music that's playing. And finally, the last rule is that you want to come for Oktoberfest. Here's a history recap of how we got here. This is the Prince of Bavaria. In 1810, he married Princess Teresa, and a horse race was held in their honor. The following year, the horse race was combined with a state fair. The state fair grew with the addition of food tents. The food tents evolved into beer tents. The beer tents evolved into even bigger beer tents that now seat up to tens of thousands of people. This two-week festival known as Oktoberfest now draws seven million people to Munich, Germany, who dress up in Bavarian outfits like these Lederhosen and drink gallons of beer, all because this one guy got married. Keep in mind, Oktoberfest is actually in September, so don't screw that up when you're booking flights. Okay, now you know all the rules to come drink with this guy. See you in Munich.